All right, welcome back, Colors. This is uh, part three of our six-part episode five. Uh, today, I think we're going to handle um, this image here from Punk Rock Jesus. It's drawn by Sean Murphy. I'll put a link uh, to his DeviantArt in the uh, description so you can check out his work. One of my uh, favorite artists working nowadays. Um, so in this one, we're just going to do a simple uh, Dave Stewart kind of textured um, textured uh, color style works really well with this type of uh, this type of artwork. Even though uh, Punk Rock Jesus was uh, done in black and white, like if it was going to be colored, I, I could imagine Dave Stewart coloring it. Um, let's go ahead and start off. Uh, we got our. Let's go ahead and do some flats on here first. Let me see. Let me fix this. I mean, I should do it. Yeah, I don't have anything peeking over the edges or anything like that, so that's good. Uh, select. Oops. Let me select that. Make sure we got our feather set to zero and our anti alias off on our lasso tool. And deselect the mohawk. Uh, we'll do white. For the eyes here, and get a gray. The studs on the collar, and a safety pin here. And the other earring right here. And then a uh, nice flesh tone. Nice. All right, there's our flats. Simple enough, huh? Um, let me go ahead and fix that. That was kind of bugging me a little bit. Sorry, flat's got a little bit out of hand over here in these areas. Outside the lines. Alright, let me do the hair. Let's do it a darkish tone. Yeah, I think that works. Um, so let's put uh, let's put some mood on it. Let's say uh, it's going to be at night or something like that. Make it interesting for us. A um, couple different ways we could do that. We could uh, let's see, pick like a nighttime color. I have a uh, kind of a grayish blue going on right here. Um, we can fill it. Then if you hit uh, Shift Control F on a PC or Shift Command F on a Mac. I'll bring up your little uh, fade uh, option right here. And what that does, if you do a filter or a fill or uh, any kind of editing, you could always uh, fade it. Or I guess you could also uh, set the layer style of that fade, uh, the opacity of it. So if I go like 50%, you can see now it's only filling it with 50% of that blue. Um, you can also do it on multiply. Um, so, you know, you just try out different things and see what you like it. I just put mine on normal usually. Um, let's try 60. Yeah, I think that looks good for nighttime. Um, let's see, next, um, as far as texture brushes go, um, you can find them all over the place. If you go, uh, to search on either DeviantArt or just on, uh, Google, um, just like a nice textured, uh, brush or Photoshop brush, um, uh, sponge texture brush, you know, there's a couple of the terms you can you can find are some really good stuff. This is one that, that I have that I really like a lot. Uh, I use a lot on my uh, template backgrounds. And I'll just kind of smudge it around like that. You might have seen me using it on the uh, um, on the pages and I've been coloring on, on my YouTube uh, on the YouTube channel. Um, let me get rid of all that mess. Um, let me duplicate that. This will be our colors. And I'll label that one our flats. Because I, I forgot to do that on the last one. So when I was doing some of my tweaks, uh, I kind of messed it up a little bit. But, um, all right, so we have his hair, skin tones. Let's go ahead and we'll do the skin tones first. I usually like to jump in with that, and it'll uh, uh, help set the mood, the tone for the rest of the uh, of the pages. Uh, again, even though I have like all my bunch of skin tones and stuff like that, I like to 
go ahead and find my own colors uh, from the color picker. Um, so I get a request from people to see my color palette or to have a copy of it and stuff like that. And I never really understood that. Um, because you're not really showing like your own voice. You're just using somebody else's voice, somebody else's colors. Uh, I find it's very important to uh, set your own style and, and use your own uh, color palette. Uh, and pl if you're just using somebody else's stuff, you're not learning uh, which colors to use. I mean, you're, you're learning which colors to use, but you're not learning why you're going to use those colors, which I think is also a very important part of coloring and uh, uh, becoming better at it. Um, Let's make our light source coming from, I guess, I guess we'll have it coming down, oops, let me turn that off, coming down this way. We'll have some lighting, maybe it'll have like a, a, a secondary light source coming from here, just to give it a little bit more interest. So we'll get uh, a little bit coming here on the, on the ears. And on this style, I'm not making any selections or anything like that. Um, I do have my shape dynamics on, uh, so I could go like, you know, I could fade it really nicely, um, and let the let the Wacom uh, tablet uh, do most of the work for me. Uh, so let's see, we'll have this head come up like that. And we'll build brow. News right here. Highlight on the lip. Nice highlight on the chin as well. I'm going to bring this down, kind of fade it as it goes. I think that's looking pretty good. I'm going to lighten that up a little bit more. And we'll add, uh, I'm just doing my basic skin, uh, skin tones right here. We'll add uh, a little bit more interest um, in the uh, not really post production work, but after I get all my my colors done, how like little tweaks at the end, we'll get it popping a little bit more. There you go. There's a little bit more going on. Now I want to really pop out that highlight now. Yeah, I think that's gonna work nice. Again, really brightest highlight, like on the nose, maybe a little bit there on the head up here. So it's really going to show, like, hey, that's that's the uh, that's the light source, no mistake in it. All right, so that's looking uh, it's looking okay so far. Let's see. If we do on the shadows, a little bit more purple, more blue going on. The highlights, maybe uh, some, I like that. I got that green. Let's do a little bit more blue and purple in the shadows. Yeah, I like that. Um, so let's see. We can go. Let's do a little bit, a little bit lighter color than our dark shadow here. And this is just going to be like a little bit of uh, uh, bounce light, and I could do it really, uh, really subtle. Maybe not that subtle. <laughs> Maybe like lighten it a little bit more. Mm. Not sure if you can even see that. Oh, it's got my opacity. No wonder. There you go. I think that's uh, that's working better. I get a little bit of this on his uh, on his ear as well. All right. Um, where's jewelry? Built that in. 
uh, I like this yellow color. Let's kind of go with that. Kind of hit in the the highlights where the uh, where the light's going to come from. And then on the opposite side, we'll round those out with that. I think that's all the uh, the rendering that we really need on it. Again, with this uh, type of art art style, uh, you really don't need uh, much, and where less is more. And do that. Uh, yeah, I think that's working. Let's see if we could uh, mess around with it a little bit more. I guess I like that. Yeah, that works. I get uh, the trick I like to do with the uh, adjustment layer on top of everything, the hue saturation. Uh, we turn my saturation all the way down, so we're looking at it in black and white. That's going to sh uh, show us the contrast. Um, I think I'd go with a little bit more contrast on it. So we darken up the darks a little bit more. Lighten up the highlights. I think that's working pretty good. I'll turn that off. Oops. Duplicate that. Do the little last. Just tone that down a little bit more. I think that looks good. Um, so I still want to see a little bit more blue in those uh, in the shadows. Let's go to our shadows and color balance again. Uh, that looks good. Uh, it's getting a little bit dark for my taste, so I'll just lighten that up a little bit more. Um, again, we're just letting the uh, the line art do most of the work. And we're just there to complement it, so usually don't like to go too dark on the uh, on the color palette, uh, not too saturated. Uh, so if we go something like, like that, you know, it's like obviously it's more about the colors. You're missing out a lot on all that beautiful artwork that's on top of it. So you tend usually tend to go with the more uh, uh, muted color palette and try running levels, see how that looks. Yeah, I think that looks good. Let's see if maybe we could do something with the uh, the line art here. And take that. Yeah, I like that. So instead of doing it pitch black, it's just like a, a, a dark blue color. Uh, let me adjust the, the hair so you can see that uh, bright blue poking through it. Let's tone that down. Maybe uh, lighten it up a little bit. You can see like, where the uh, brush strokes were uh, uh, breaking, breaking through. So yeah, I'm really, really digging that look right there. I think we'll go ahead and uh, leave it at that. Um, again, simple style. We're just letting uh, the Wacom tablet with the pressure sensitivity sensitivity do uh, do a lot of the work. Let the brush itself do a lot of the work. Um, not doing any selections or anything like that. Just painting it with a texture brush. Uh, very simple, very quick and easy to do. And um, a lot of uh, editors out there are really looking for more of this type of style than the uh, over rendered stuff. Um, not everybody's doing superhero comics these days. Um, and I, I think that's about it. Um, any questions, comments, uh, get at me. 
I'll, I'll try and uh, answer them as best I can. Uh, if you have any uh, suggestions, stuff you'd like to see me color, just let me know. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.